Fast start, test complete, module four, managing projects. In this module, we're going to have a look at test complete and how the structure of project suites, projects and tests allows you to organize and maintain all of your project artifacts. There's a simple project suite, project and test hierarchy that we've spoken about and that hierarchy starts with the project suite. So project suite, when you drop double click on the project suite node in the project explorer, opens up the project suite in the workspace and the project suite gives us the ability to work with the same instance of test complete with multiple projects. So we can share settings and share information between different projects. In the project suite workspace, we'll see a list of all the projects. These projects relate to the projects we've defined over here in the Project Explorer. So as you can see, one project suite can have multiple projects. This list in the workspace then is the list of project test items that will run when we run the project suite. And you can disable and enable those projects so that when you run at the project suite level, on the run project suite button here, it will run only the enabled project items listed here in the test items list. So if you want to run the whole project suite, enable all of the items in the test item list, select run project suite. So that's the workspace area for the project suite. In the same vein, if you double click on the project items in the Project Explorer, you'll open up the project in the workspace. And you can open up multiple projects in parallel in the workspace. And each project contained in a project suite then contains multiple test items within that project. A project then contains elements and artifacts that you're going to need for a specific area of testing. So in this case, we have a project for a desktop application, uh, perhaps another project for an API, and another for a mobile and for a web clients. Each project containing all of the relevant artifacts for that particular test effort. In the project workspace then, we see a list of test items for that project. And the concept here is that we drag on test items from our project explorer, so whether that be keyword tests or whether that be advanced scripted tests, we can pull those into the project test items list. And when we run at the project level, we select the run project button here, that will run all of the enabled test items listed in the project workspace. Alternatively to that, we can right click on individual items in the project workspace and you can select run focused item which will run only that item that we highlighted. Project test items in the workspace for the project can be grouped with folders so you can add folders from the menu bar at the top here. So you can change the hierarchy and order of these individual test items by using the move item up, down, indent or outdent items here. So I can move that item down, indent it, and it's then contained within that group or that folder structure. The other key aspect of the project within Test Complete then is the ability to include different types of test items. So in this project, we have a number of different test items with the advanced folder, scripted tests, keyword tests, some manual tests, name mapping, stores, tested apps. When you right click on the project node, you can select the add option and you can add new items. So this enables you to add a different type of test item to your project. So in this example, I could add a low level procedure collection. And when I've added that, you'll see that test item or type of test item included under the advanced folder in this particular example. And then again, you can add items to the low level uh, recording 
test item here by adding new item and that will add a new node under the low level recording procedures here. Similar approach applies to the other nodes in here. So if you want to add another keyword test, you can right click on there, do add and add new item. So if you can add items to your project, it stands to reason you can remove them. And no prizes for guessing that if you right click on the test item, select remove option, test complete, allows you to take the item out of the list there. Two options, if you remove it, it removes the test item but leaves it on the file system so you can include it back in later. If you delete it, it permanently deletes that test item. So we've looked at the structure then, starting at Project Suite. Project Suite contains multiple projects, and a project has a list of test items and different types of testing elements within the project itself. Similar structure applies to the project log files. So you have a Project Suite logs. So if you run the whole Project Suite, the results from that are stored in that folder. If you run just a project, a desktop project here, those runs are stored in the desktop logs folder. And if you run individual items within a project, those items and the run results from those are stored in the, in the project log folder as well. But in that instance, you'll see uh, the keyword test log rather than the calc project full project run log. And that's it, the basics for managing project suites and projects within Test Complete.